Hey guys, it's DC here and today I want to talk to you about some cybersecurity side hustles that you can do to make some passive income. So before we get sort of started with the, the list of passive incomes that I, I want to tell you about, um, there are a few things that I will mention first off, which is that obviously uh, getting a job is the, the main priority here. Um, these are more designed uh, to do before you actually get a job. So when you're you know studying or looking for work or just things that you can do to make a little bit of extra money on the side to you know help you get through. All right, let's kick off. Number one is probably the obvious one, which is bug bounties. Now, bug bounties are, are good and bad at the same time. You can make money and if you're successful at it, obviously you will do quite well at bug bounties. The one thing that there is to consider with doing bug bounties is that there is that learning curve, which is quite steep initially. And there's also the competition that you have to compete with when doing different bug bounty programs. Now, the good news is that there's no real shortage of bug bounties out there to jump on board and, and have a crack at and potentially learn something, maybe even make some money. But it's, it's definitely worth mentioning as a potential passive income that you can do that's, it's not really passive, but it is an income that you can get uh, on the side while you're sort of working your way up towards you know getting a job or, or whatever it is you want to do. Number two on the list is to write blogs. Now you might think, how is writing blogs ever gonna make me money? Let me tell you, there are companies and people out there who are willing to pay you pretty good money to write blogs. Now obviously you have to have pretty decent written skills to be able to do this, but there are plenty of different services out there where if you are to promote yourself, maybe writing blogs on Medium, where I believe you can make money if you have like a donate button or something like that, then yeah, you, you can promote yourself as a professional writer in the industry, uh, which will bring lots of views to your profile, if it's on Medium or LinkedIn or your own website. But to actually keep those blogs up to date is, you know, of course it's going to take time to build just like anything else, but once those views start coming in, you start writing about some really great topics that people are searching for that are quite informative and obviously well written, then potentially down the line, this will turn into something that will earn you actual money, which is, I mean, that's, that's what it's all about, right? Number three on the list is to start a YouTube channel. Now, I, I couldn't say that without laughing because it does take a very long time to start a um, successful YouTube channel. But you know, what I mean is, is to make like a hundred or two hundred dollars a day. Realistically, you don't need that many followers. You just need the views. But if you're looking to make some extra money on the side, using a YouTube channel in conjunction with writing a blog is potentially a great way to bring in extra money off ad revenue as well as promoting your blog and potentially anything else you want to maybe sell. Which brings me on to the last one, which is to write courses. Now, writing courses, obviously you need to be a professional in that area to be able to write about it for people to want to actually buy it, which is you know completely fair enough. But it is an option out there where if you were to write some very niche courses on things that haven't really been discussed before, or maybe your own viewpoint of particular topics that are already very popular. This is a way to get into making that extra little bit of money on the side. Now, there are a few people out there, um, plenty of them on Twitter and YouTube who do exactly this, which is to have a YouTube channel to then promote their own content to, you know, that you would then purchase. It, they all sort of feed into each other. I have no problems with it. However, people want to make their money is entirely up to them. But it is an option for you if you are interested in, in making a little bit of extra money while still staying relevant in IT and specifically cybersecurity. Now, why I say relevant is because with all of these things together, your bug bounties, blogs, maybe a YouTube channel, vlog, whatever it is, and potentially some courses or some tools that you're writing up. Having all of these together to be able to show on your resume at the end of the day shows a high level of interest and potentially even a high level of skill in the subject that you are discussing, teaching, etc. So when you do eventually stop doing these little, you know, side hustles and making extra money if you ever want to stop, 
it's up to you. You can potentially then use this experience or this knowledge to help promote yourself to get those, you know, higher paying jobs. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I just wanted to put this little list together of potential ways that you can make passive income in cybersecurity while you're studying to get that big you know, dollar sign job that everyone's looking for at the end of the day. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more. And of course, comment below if you have any questions or recommendations for anyone who's looking to get into cybersecurity and wants to, you know, help promote themselves or potentially start a little side hustle to be able to make a little bit of extra money on the side. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.